Good morning. It is Sunday morning. We've got a bit of weather to talk about. Not today or yesterday. Both days beautiful. Fleet week in San Francisco. Temperature in San Francisco yesterday, upper 60s. Today, same thing. Mid 60s, upper 60s in San Francisco. Los Angeles today goes 77 degrees. Redding goes 72. Bakersfield goes 75. And then Chico goes 74. Um, part of the reason I put Chico in there is because when I grew up in the North Valley, Nobody ever mentioned Chico. Like, you'd watch the weather. I'd watch Harry Geis on uh, KCRA and, uh, or the Bay Area guys, the Channel 2 guys, because we got them up there. But nobody mentioned Chico. And I always thought, you know, or Paradise. You are just like, you would have died as a small town kid to hear your town mentioned in a forecast map. They didn't, it, we were like not even spoken of. So anyway, so I put Chico in. It's 74, 74 degrees tomorrow. A little bit of a quicker cast today. It is Sunday. We do have the weather incoming. It's going to rain pretty good from one part of the state to the other, from the north state to the south state. So inch of rain in Redding, inch and a half of rain down in the Santa Cruz Mountains, inch of rain in Southern California, two to three feet of snow in the mountains. It's a quick moving system. It's right here. We talked about it yesterday. It is doing a cool thing where it's coming off the continent. So it's a cooler system by nature, but it's also reaching out here and grabbing moisture off the Pacific, right? A warmer ocean. The sea surface temperatures are upper 50s right now. So you're getting evaporation from this cooler air going over this relatively warmer air evaporates and puts a lot of moisture into the storm. So it fuels it up. And so this system is, that's why the rainfall, it's a fast moving system, pretty quickly moving down the coast. Um, not horribly fast, but it's moving pretty quick. It's gonna go literally from Redding or Del Norte County into San Diego County over the course of 36, 36 hours, um, which is uh, moving pretty good. So that's our system here. That's the story. That's the lead story starting tomorrow morning in the Bay Area. I would like to say to you, get your Halloween decorations battened down. Don't mess around. And I say this only because if it was 1970, I wouldn't say anything about Halloween decorations. Why? Because Halloween decorations were tasteful and small. It was a pumpkin. It was a pair of those little, you know, those in the, glow in the dark uh, skeleton hands that you just stick in the dirt. And it's like something's coming out of the dirt or something. I don't even know what the hell. But they, they're not blowing anywhere, man. These things are weather resistant. Today's uh, Halloween decorations, not the case, man. Like in my neighborhood, it's game on. Like they're blown up, you know, they blow up like spiders. And yeah, they're, they're awesome for sure. Awesome. But when the wind comes, that blow up spider that is literally the size of this room is going to be in my yard. That's going to be my Halloween decoration. Or... The giant skeletons. And I'm not, I'm kind of jesting a little because it's kind of funny, but it's also like, no, I mean it. <laughs> I mean, get that stuff battened down because in the neighborhoods I've been visiting the last few months or a few weeks, there's big stuff. Those big skeletons are like 20 feet high. They're awesome. Just so cool. But, or the big giant spider, they're going to, they're going to get blown around. This storm's got wind. So this is your warning. <coughs> Sorry about that. Wow. Um, get, get your stuff battened down, especially for by Monday morning in Southern California by Monday morning as well. And just get them down and leave them battened down or maybe lay them down or something. Because Halloween decorations are going to blow as this system blows in. System number one, that's us. System number two is Priscilla, which is still uh, kind of just throwing moisture into the desert southwest. So they've got some flood warnings and watches there. And then this nor'easter, which is going to impact millions of people along the northeastern seaboard. It already is. It's going to have surf, wind, the whole bit. So we'll take a peek at that as well. All right, I've got a lot on our plate. I'm doing a quicker one today because it's Sunday. Um, I didn't do that. I didn't do the whole thing uh, that, that we usually do. Uh, this, These are temperatures this morning. I thought these were interesting. This is up around Lake Tahoe. 23 degrees in Truckee, 25 degrees in Truckee, 26 degrees at Olympic Valley. Uh, South Lake Tahoe, 23 degrees this morning. It's cold. It's cool. It's, we're on our way, man. It's winter. And in the foothills, on the way down to Auburn, you're in the low 40s, upper 30s, frost. Sacramento this morning had a little frost in areas, 48 degrees. And then closer to the coast, right, you're warmer, number one, because of the bay and the ocean. That's one of the things I get this question a lot um, as you look at the overnight lows today. Yeah, pretty chilly everywhere, huh? But the reason it doesn't snow in San Francisco very often, um, or in Los Angeles very often, really like once, um, 
is because the oceans are so warm. The water temperature, the high specific heat, the ocean is big, it's giant, it sits offshore. The temperature, even though the land gets down to 35 degrees, the ocean's going to stay at 58 degrees all winter long. So it's 58 degrees. So it's all, it's radiating. It's this giant body with a high specific heat that radiates warmth inland. So it makes it hard to get, um, makes it hard to get snow. Here comes the system. No fog along the coast. Beautiful fall day. The beginning of the changes are today in Northern California. By tomorrow morning, it's wet in parts of Northern California. We'll look at the computer model, the in just a minute. Here is Ocean Beach right now, Sutro Tower. Temperature today in Mill Valley will be 72 degrees. This is Mill Valley right here. This is Mount Tamalpais. I like it, that's Ocean Beach. I kind of grew up out here. My family's from West Portal. Uh, I'm sort of an Avenue kid, even though I grew up in Paradise and now don't use, lived in the North Bay forever. Um, but I like this shot because it, you know, there's, there's um, Montera Mountain, Pedro Point. And it just shows, one of the things it shows here that's kind of awesome is the rainfall. We talked about yesterday, but the rainfall here. See how the, see how the, we're kind of facing 170, 170, 270. So 180 is south, due south. So that's due south. So this, this, this lens, when the storms come in, they blow right into this lens and they create more rain. So you can bet as this system blows down the coast, Marin County will do well for rainfall. San Francisco today, 67 degrees. This is out of Sacramento, heavy snowfall potential. They're saying starts 11 a.m. Monday, the timing, the winter weather advisory, and it goes through Wednesday, which that makes sense. The forecast is for snow above 6,000 feet, and they're saying maybe three feet, maybe three feet. Wind gusts up on Highway 50 up to 35 miles an hour, and then more watches and warnings along the coast. This is the wind I was talking about, winter storm warning up here. It's a big deal for this time of year, but also you're looking at gale warnings just offshore. So Pacifica, Half Moon Bay, Bodega Bay, yeah, tie that stuff down, man, because it's gonna get it's gonna get nutty. Here are the forecast high. Not, I mean, it's not a crazy windstorm. It's just winds. It's just wind meets oversized decorations. There, now I said it. Okay, here are the uh, forecast highs for today. Pretty nice. Like if I was to like frame a picture of the perfect west coast temperatures for california that would be it i would just frame that put it on the wall and go this is this is october 12 2025 and this is how this is as good as it gets for temperatures everywhere even on the coast low 60s perfect um temperatures watch how quickly it cools off tomorrow that's that system coming down that could bring in cooler air so you what's that let's do the math 72 in reading today 55 in reading tomorrow so 20 degrees right or near there um, 20 degrees in Chico, so 10 to 15 degrees cooler in the north part of the state than it was um, just today. Here's the model. Quickly go through it. GFS 500 millibar. Here's the system. Watch its orientation coming off the coast. See it? See it sucking off the continent and then grabbing that moisture off the Pacific. And then right front quadrant. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here. This is Tuesday morning. Okay. The right front quadrant of this storm is right here, right? So that's the trough is here. I hope that helps. And the right front quadrant is here. Back here, you'll get stuff, but this is where the positive vorticity is. And this is this model is showing vorticity. Vorticity is just lift. Air is rising. It creates condensation and, and un, un, unsettledness. So this right front quadrant is basically right in our wheelhouse along the entire coast and it starts Sunday night into Monday and continues on so let's go back up keep we'll keep it on the right front quadrant so here it is this is tomorrow morning this is tomorrow afternoon this is Tuesday morning this is Tuesday afternoon so Monday night and Tuesday looks like the biggest hit for Central California and then Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday midday into the afternoon into Southern California. And then it blows out. Okay, so that's, that's encouraging. But it's, a, you know, it's 36 hours of some good rain. We saw the forecast rain accumulations, potentially up to an inch of rain from Redding south. Um, and then you got this system that comes in later, just for, for giggles. Let's see, this, see, that, see this guy getting sucked into this guy? So this is next weekend, if it happens. Um, and it, see it, same kind of a deal, right front quadrant, 
moisture gets sucked in. That would be something. So let's go back to where we were. North American model, now we're looking at surface sea level pressure and we we're ab above with the vorticity there. Now we're down low. And now we're looking at, and by the way, grape growers, I know you guys are gunning today, just last few days, you've been just pulling grapes left and right. I think the Pinots are all in, right? Because the crush is huge, not just in Napa Valley, but in Santa Maria and South. Okay, so here goes the model, North American. Here comes the system, a little more granular with the North American, 12Z on Monday. That's, oh, pardon me, um, Monday morning. <laughs> That's Zulu time or Greenwich time or Universal time, um, Z. We just do, I still call it Zulu. Uh, and then, uh, so Monday morning, Monday mid-morning. See where you are. Del Norte County's wet. Here comes the system. This is Monday afternoon. Look at that. So that's your Monday afternoon commute in the Bay Area. Swings through, cold, winter storm warning or war advisories. This is Tuesday, overnight Monday into Tuesday right here. Now it's into Southern California. Timing's pretty similar. And then Tuesday afternoon, and then gone. I mean, that's a, that's a, ah, this bad boy's got some game, man. If this thing, if thing shows up like it could, it's gonna be a good system. Um, I mean, it's gonna be good. I mean, it's gonna be, it's not, it does, it's not horribly unusual. It's a good system though, and it will, put a squash on fire danger from north to south, which is my big thing. And this is beneficial rainfall. We're not looking at, you know, middle of winter, this thing comes. We'd be kind of going, oh, mudslides, right? Not because you're going to get an inch of rain in, in the fire zones out around the Palisades, perhaps. Um, but they haven't had much rain. So this is now the GFS. Same sea level pressure, surface rain, um, and different model. This is GFS. It's more of a broad brush, more grand, not as granular. Here comes Wednesday or Monday morning, mid morning, Monday afternoon, or pardon me, Monday afternoon here, about same timing as the North American, and then Tuesday morning onto LA, and then boom, that out. That that looks really potent. Tuesday morning in Southern California, Laguna Beach. Tie down, dude, Dracula, tie him down. Skeleton, dude, tie him down because that's going to blow through pretty aggressively in Southern California. And then we'll watch that secondary system, which is next week. I don't know. I'm just doing this for giggles, but nothing looks like it's got some game, but that's way off. Okay, so now we're going to look at this map's a little easier to look at. I, I pulled this out for my wife the other day or yesterday. I go, what do you, because she's, she's over it. Like she's heard, she gets tired of me talking about weather. That's why I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> but. The, um, I go, cause she's not into it, which is, yeah, I, I get it, man. I get it. Like, you know, yesterday some guy goes, uh, God, you're boring as hell. And I'm like, no, I get it. <laughs> I mean, you're either into this or you're not into it, right? And I, I, turns out we're into it or I'm into it or you're into it or you were into it or you unsubscribe because you're not into it. But I get it, dude. I, it's like, like, I love cars, but I'm not a car guy. So when car guys start talking about car stuff, I'm kind of like, I'm not into it. But if you're a car guy, you're into it. Okay, so this is, um, I asked her about this model, and she goes, she goes, I like it. And I, she likes it because it shows accumulation. So this is just, this is a model, but it shows the rain each day adding up. So you'll see where the heaviest rain. So here we are by <clears throat> Monday afternoon, Monday afternoon into the commute. This is the, um, the rainfall accumulation. Up to a half inch in Santa Cruz Mountains, half inch to an inch up around um, Marin County, San Francisco, a quarter of an inch. Okay, You're like okay, that's cool. So that's Monday. That's that's the day on Monday, and then here we comes Monday night into Tuesday morning. That's when you get the most rain in the Bay Area, and it starts to move into Southern California. And these are over an inch now. So right now, if I'm thinking, I'm thinking Bay Area, dude. I'm going Monday night into Tuesday. It's wet. And then we move fur further, and you see it moving to Southern California into Tuesday afternoon, up to an inch and a quarter down in the fire zones of Palisades. And then we move forward, right? And then that's it. And then, oh, that's interesting. Okay, that goes way out. So this is, this is hang on a second. I move way too fast. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to stop back here. So, so basically this bad boy kind of is through by Wednesday morning for the most part, right, for California. And then we get that secondary system, which piles on, which does that mean, I don't think that that's gonna be just like that, but of note.
Okay, so we got the storms to talk about. We got the flooding down in the Phoenix area because of Priscilla. We've got our system, which you can see these are wind advisories along the coast, winter storm warnings and snow watch advisories, um, and up in the Pacific Northwest. So this is this is going to be a really interesting weather system, and it's going to have wind, and your Halloween decorations are going to pay. So remember, I'm you heard it here. Um, and then out on the eastern seaboard, the third system is just nor'easter, which let's just take a sampling of the, the watches and warnings. I mean, these guys, the nor'easters are a big deal, man. It, our, this is kind of, our deal is not a nor'easter. I, it's kind of like a nor'wester because it, it's doing sort of the same thing, but in the actually opposite direction. The nor'easter is coming up. Ours is coming down, but it's the same idea. You're getting cooler air mixing with warmer air. We'll go somewhere with that another day. Um, but in this case, Atlantic City, Philadelphia, I mean, millions of people are in this zone, right? These are big cities. This is, you know, Washington, D.C., Georgetown, Wilmington. These are the, the watches and warnings in the next few days. High wind warning, storm warning, coastal flood warning, gale warning, flood advice. I mean, they got they are lit up like a damn Christmas tree. So that's a big deal. Surf today. There is ways. There's guys out and people out. Ocean Beach, two to four feet. I'm just doing a quick surf report. And then this is Zuma Beach. I like that just because it looks like, if you ever saw the movie Big Wednesday, it looks like the movie poster for Big Wednesday, which is an awesome movie if you've never seen it. Mount Shasta. There's snow on it now. There's going to be so much snow on this bad boy. We'll look at it on today's. I'll have to do something tomorrow, huh? I'll do something Oh, no, tonight. So no, I'll do something for sure tomorrow. Tomorrow, this bad boy is going to be, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but there's going to be feet of snow on Mount Shasta tomorrow. This is the Farallon Islands. Looks a little rocky and windy out there. That's why that camera's blowing around. But they're zoomed up, too. Um, seals are popping right now. You can see some seals up in the rocks. This is making me seasick. We see seals getting in here. Sharks love it out here. They feed just outside the Farallons. And I know right where this camera is, actually. And once the little pups go outside this cove, man, they are, they are in peril. Okay, it's sunny out at the Farallons. And then this would be Venice Beach. Why do you show it, Bill? I, I just think it's eye candy. It's just eye candy, man. I mean, it's like everybody's moving. Well, a long time ago, I had a uh, friend of mine. He was a doctor. He just passed. Great, great guy. Guy surfer, one of the first guys to surf Fort Port Point when it was a military installation. He got arrested. There's famous pictures of him in Surfer Magazine being arrested by the MPs, blah, blah, blah. But John was his name. And he told me once, he goes, Billy, it's the weirdest thing. He goes, it's, he's, you know what's interesting about John? He was a um, Childs, John Childs. He was a doctor, but he smoked, which was fascinating. <laughs> I thought it was pretty awesome. But, you know, I was like, really? But he was in great shape. But, he told me, he said, people just want to move. People, sapiens, just want to move. And this, when you look at it, they do. They just want to move. They want to be on electric bikes, electric scooters. We just want to move. We want to move faster with wheels. We want to, but we want to move. Interesting. It's like blood flowing through arteries. So that's why I think I like because of John. And God rest his soul, he was an awesome dude. A good surfer, too. Anyway, so that, I think we covered it. Let's, let's talk about... Do, Tie down the, the decorations and tell your neighbors to just because I think, again, it's not a wind storm per se, but, you know, giant decorations meets 20 mile an hour wind. You know, that's trouble. See you back here.